Okay. Just checking everything's working. Okay. I'm just gonna wait a few moments again until everyone joins. And so the lighting's okay. Okay. We're just so paranoid that this doesn't work or does work or <laughs> okay, I think that's a good frame. You can see Nisha passed out to the left of me. Uh, I don't think she's gonna join into the class, but um okay, we only have one person currently on stream. So I'm just gonna wait one more minute until more people join. Um, because more people said they've joined. Um and yeah, I mean, make sure your mat's comfortable. There's in the description, I put music again. So if you want to listen to music, I'd recommend, because today is a bit more of a core focused um, yoga. It's kind of getting that basis kind of stable up. And of course, as always, flexibility and strength. Um, so that the music I'd recommend putting on something maybe a little bit a beat or flowy, but again, if you want to put on some calming spiritual stuff, that's wonderful as well. Um, go at your own pace, and yeah, I mean, if there's anything you can do that's, I mean, I can't do a bunch of stuff either. And yeah, let's get started. Um, some people have joined as well, so exciting. All right, today, we're going to get started seating in a cross-legged position in the center of our mat. And kind of making sure you have a good grounding, that your butt's comfortable, that your dog doesn't walk onto the mat. Rolling the shoulders back. Starting to ease a bit into practice. Maybe noticing kind of what muscles feel a bit tense or loose. You know, often there's only focus on the good aspects of how our body are feeling. Start using the knees as an anchor, shifting forward. Circular motion. Really at the back, try to almost kind of push against yourself to extend to get into those back muscles. And switch directions, just lightly prepping the body. Nice, and maybe just shift from side to side, lifting up one arm of the head, getting in a bit of a stretch. So now start thinking about your core. Um, make sure it's engaged. So it's a slight tightening. You wanna have this tightening for the entirety of the class. So at any point, I will, I'll keep reminding everyone, but at any point, if you feel it slack, and just tighten it up again. It should be very loose. Because if our core is engaged, that takes off pressure of the back, keeps us grounded, and lets us do a lot of the exercises. Nice. So just start rolling your head. Left. Inhaling and exhaling as the head comes down. Reverse those circles, now to the right. Inhale, and exhale. Nice, come to center, maybe two more shoulder rolls to the back. And let it release. So we're gonna start on our hands and knees. You can also come onto your fists to reduce any wrist pain that you might have. But if not, really ground your hands, fully placing the fingers and pushing out of your mat. Your shoulders should be over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Push into the mat and round the back downwards, looking up into a cow pose. And on the exhale, rounding and the spine into a cat pose. Really pushing into the mat. Feeling the core engage. Just squeeze, squeeze that core and then lift that squeeze core. Coming back down into a cat pose. 
the three of these at your own pace. Always be mindful of the inhalation and the exhalation. Maybe now, with the core in mind, start maybe twisting your hips and giving this motion in kind of a wavy, circular manner to get into the side of the leaks a little bit. And just generally warming up. Nice, pause. This motion coming to a neutral spine. Maybe bringing your knees a bit closer to the body. Grounding the left knee into the floor to give yourself stability. And also the right hand. So you're kind of doing your right hand and your left knee are both grounded. This allows you to extend your left hand over the head, maybe alongside your ear. With the core engaged, lifting up the opposite leg, so the right leg. So you're in a bird dog position. A deep inhalation, maybe lift up a little higher. And a deep exhalation, bringing your knee to the elbow. Hold, inhalation, and a deep exhalation, extend again. Do four more at your own pace. Always with the exhalation as you reach out, and also tensing the glutes as you reach back in. That helps a bit with the core. The last one, grounding the hands into the floor, touching the toe, and lifting up into a one leg down facing dog. So for these, try to hit, keep your hips square. A lot of people kind of lift up the legs super high or like curve the hips. No, no, hips are square. And you're just slightly lifting the leg. Bending it and extending. Curving it a little bit side to side. So your hips shouldn't be twisting, but they can maybe just shift. Like stand back. And now bring the knee to the chest. Hold. And extend back again. Inhale. On the exhale, now bringing the knee to the opposite elbow. Trying to dig it up into your tricep. Inhale. And exhale, stand back. And one more time to the other elbow now. Twisting the body. And back out. And set it back down. Now near your downward facing dog, pushing back into the mat. And just pedaling out the knees a little bit. Getting the blood flow there a little bit. And then coming down, your knees extended alongside your mat, your toes touching into child pose. And a deep inhale. And a deep exhale. And then coming back into your tabletop, top, hands over, elbows over knees. Hips over, hands over, elbows over knees, wrists and hips over knees position. Okay. Before we come into the pose, maybe turn your wrists to turn inside of you so your fingers are facing your knees. Stretch them out a little bit. Shift up and down. Do a circle. One way, very slight motion, and a circle the other way. Shake one out. 
and then place that one back face the top of your mat, shake the other one out, and place it down. Roll your head. Nice. So now we're going to switch and move on to the other side. So now, again, grounding your fingers into the mat and pushing away, opening up the shoulder, ensuring once again that your core is engaged. So the dusting what needs to be adjusted. Now shifting your weight to your left hand and your right knee. I don't know, your right knee and your your left knee and your right hand. And extending now the opposite arm overhead and the opposite knee. And bringing it down to your chest. And hold. And out. Doing five of these. At your own pace. Remember, your hips are square. They shouldn't be shifting. It should be very controlled motion. Always pushing on the hands as well, looking up to extend, and then really rounding the back and tensing the glutes as you come together into a little, little ball. This is where the apple kind of imagery comes up. Two more. Releasing the opposite wrist, tucking the toes, coming back into a downward facing dog. Now lifting the leg into the sky, keeping hips square. Your left leg that's in the air. Rounding it into the body. Try to touch the nose. Exhale back. Feel like a dog. And inhale, bring it out to the elbow. Hold. Bring it into the tricep. Exhale back to the like big dog. Remember, your hips are square. Pushing into your hands to help you out a little bit. And bring it now to the opposite elbow. Back out. Set it down and down your fishing dog. And maybe now take the feet a bit further along the mat, maybe mat width. Push more down, bring the hands a bit closer to the chest. And take the right hand to the left leg. Looking underneath your elbow to give yourself a bit of a twist. It's great for increasing blood flow and flexibility. And switching. Really trying to curve the spine a little bit to the side. Coming back to center. And coming down into your child pose. A deep inhalation and a deep exhalation. Now, rounding the body, shifting to the top of the mat. So you're in a sphinx pose. So for this, your elbows are grounded, your hands are grounded. Your elbows are right by the chest, pushing out of the mat, and maybe pulling your body a bit forward to so feel that stretch along your mid back and looking slightly upward. And of course, the sense of this as well, because that helps lift the body up a little bit. And you're lifting the wrists, giving your wrists some quick wrist circles. Switch direction. Back rounded. You slightly shift the hips from side to side. You can also lift up your legs for this to get a bit more of a motion into this. This is great for releasing your lower back after sitting all day. I've been sitting quite a lot these past few days, which is great. I have a bouncy ball now, so I've changed all of my sitting. And releasing back down. Now, clasping the hands together. So you're still on your elbows, tucking the toes, and coming into a low plank. 
Swing up and down. And breathe in. Remember for this, you're really pushing out. You don't have your butt too high or your butt too low. It should be quite supported. This really is if your core is clean up. Now letting the elbow, the legs and the hips fall to one side. Flipping into one area and shift. Dipping your hips. Always contract the core a little bit at the top to help you. And try to keep the hips low. Nice. Hold them back and center. Now come into the dolphin pose. So on your elbows, kind of coming into the same motion as the downward facing dolphin. Set your elbows. So give that back into the stretch. Inhale to the nose. And exhale through the mouth, come back forward. Back, again, into dolphin pose. Forward, a little plank. Back, one more time. Forward, and release it, and all pump down. I'm not hating me. I'm just breathing a little bit. Just coming back again onto that sphinx pose. Always keep the body up and supported. I see my mom looking at me with eyes of pure annoyance that I made her do that. And Misha's just in front of me pass out. She doesn't have to do anything. Okay, now bringing your elbows a bit closer to the body. And now just push, pushing off. So you're on your hands. You need a bit more of a back section to there. You'll be pushing and now just kind of Putting that core nice and good stretch, always shifting close to the body as needed. You don't have to come too far. You can also come really, really far if you really want to extend. Not that you hurt yourself, however. Oof. Deep deeper now. And deep exhale, shifting now back. So you're sitting on your legs. Yeah. Just what you need, if you have a ponytail in my case, or your pants, or whatever. Now, bring your legs in front of you, shifting a bit more forward into the mat. Hands grounded down behind you as well, pushing out, opening up the shoulders, and just again, blocking out the legs, and the knees fall inside. This is a nice flowy kind of feeling. Hands and kind of ground your feet and bring them a bit further into the mat. Lift up, your back is straight, your core is engaged. And again, holding onto your knees and just opening up the chest. Deep inhale, now grasping underneath your knees, rolling back, so curving your back. Releasing your hands and your legs, you're in a curved position. And then using your core to bring you back up on the exhale. Inhale, curve, come as far as you can go without it staying in your back. And back up. Let's go down. Back up. Down. Engage your core. And hold it at the bottom. Now just pump your arms up and down. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Five, four, three, two, one. And coming back up. Hold the shoulders back. Roll the head. Opposite way. I just breathe. Whew. Okay. Now, bringing your feet to touch in your butterfly position, so your knees are falling up to the side. You have a bit of a diamond shape. First, give your feet a little bit of massage. See if there's any little points of tension there as well. 
So is our idea of the fetish. So it's important to give a little bit of love. I'm holding on to your feet and just butterflying the legs, so letting them kind of come up and down a little bit, twisting them out a bit. And relapse. So we're going to do some uh, butterflies sit ups now. Um, and these are a bit more gentle than traditional sit ups. So if you want to do this, just go for it. But butterfly is it's more magical. So first, just extending forward. Your, your fingers are tented in front of you. Holding your body a bit open again. And now your hands lifted. Coming down slowly all the way up to your back with your hands overhead. And now we're going to do a total of 10 of these. Go at your own pace. Shooting up, using your core, lifting up in front of you, and coming back down. Inhale down. Exhale out. Ooh, my hands coming up. Come on, five more. Really reaching forward and you come to the top. And you barely stay at the bottom. It's just enough to let your hands really touch the floor behind you. Okay, two more. And back to center. Now extending your legs. In front of you, very centered. Texting your heels inwards, so you get a bit of a call stretch. And then pointing the toes outwards. In, out, in, out. Next time they're flexed towards you, maybe twist them side to side. And your ankle is a bit of a, a little bit of a stretch. We're doing opposite little circles and switch direction. Nice. Again, shifting yourself a little bit up, coming onto your back. Now we're just going to do a little bit of a stretch before you move into some more core stuff. So bringing your right leg to the chest, moving it in, maybe walking a little bit on your spine from side to side. Grabbing now your foot with your, so your right foot's in your hand, so grabbing your right foot with your right hand. Your yogi toe lock piece position, this is your two front finger, grabbing your front toe. And bending the knee and extending it, turning the ball to the side. So this is kind of like a half happy baby pose. It's only half of your leg is bent into the side. And walking side to side, maybe a little bit. Are you seeing if you can extend the leg and bend it? Very gentle way to improve your flexibility, but for focal point on one side. And then letting it fall out to the side. So you can also take your hand off each other, just letting your leg fall out to the side. Looking to the opposite shoulder. You can also bend your leg a little bit more if you want. And then bringing it back to the chest. Lifting your head, touch the knee. Now keeping your leg lift, your head lifted and your shoulders off the floor and you're in a crunch. You're still holding on to that knee. Switch knee. Switch. 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 Five. In four, in three, in two, and one, holding the same leg back. Maybe come a bit closer, maybe a bit closer. And release. Starfish pose, you kind of literally just planted. You're about to make a snow angel, or if your face planted, you could do slipped. All right. Now, opposite knee into the chest, so the left knee comes into the chest, squeezing it. 
gonna be rolling it a bit side to side. Recircling, getting a bit of fluidity into the hips. Now, grabbing the front toe, extending the leg, so it's straight up in front of you. Again, kind of shifting it from side to side, and then bending that leg. So you're in a half happy baby pose on the left leg. Giving really the hips open up, trying to keep the opposite hip, the right hip grounded onto the floor. So you have to take your right hand to push your right hip onto the floor to make sure you're not curving to the left. And you practice extending that knee and bending it. And then letting it fall off to the side. Either extended or bent, you must take your hand off just to kind of, again, making sure that your other hip doesn't come off. Deep inhalation and exhalation, bringing it back to center, hugging the knee. And on the exhale, curving and crunching so your nose is touching your knee. Inhale, and let's do eight more switches. Really on each time that you hold a knee, maybe pull yourself up a bit more. In three, two, one, and hold that left leg one more time. Bring the nose a bit more into the knee and release. Again, bending the knees and just letting the legs fall, windshield wiping from side to side. Perfect. Now pausing at the top, lift your legs into an upward table, reverse tabletop position. So your legs are now in the 90 degree angles above you. Goal posting the arms, so bending both of your elbows, your arms are kind of in a well, goal post position. <laughs> and now we're going to do a core focus windshield, windshield wiping position. So letting your legs Grounding really your hands, let your legs fall off to one side using your core to hold you stable. Coming down as far as you can go without your elbows lifting off and coming back to center. And on the exhale to the opposite side. Back to center. Inhale, exhale to the opposite side. Back to center. Oh, I got a nice little back crack there. Sit side, inhale, center, exhale, opposite side, inhale, center, extending the legs so they're point, pointing straight, and slow and controlled, really that your back stays planted on the mat, let them come all the way down, so you're lying on your back again, again, just rolling out. Each side. Now bending the knees, bringing them both into the chest. Giving a little bit of a hug. Working side to side. Grabbing underneath your knees and start rocking up and down. You can do as big or small as a motion as you want. You can be faithful. You can do a little bit of curves. I like doing these for a bit longer always because just. It feels really nice to my back. Now try planting your knees and coming up really quickly. In a very fluid motion. <laughs> or just coming up gently as well. So you're now at the front of your mat. Your hands at your hips, roll back the shoulders, maybe roll the head a little bit, letting this rolling. And just start walking out to the toes a little bit. The heels, sorry, and down, lifting up the left leg, bend to the side, a little bit of circulation there, switching legs, and 
Nice. Taking a deep inhale, reaching up to the sky, looking at your fingers as they clasp, maybe slightly bending back, get the back bend into there, and to center, diving down, letting your body just hang. And my board pieces go with. Just bouncing up and down, maybe. Side to side. Maybe clasping your elbows. Or maybe grabbing onto your two toes if that's available to you and pulling yourself more into the into the floor. Inhale and exhale. Pulling yourself a bit deeper. You're bouncing a bit deeper here. Just enjoy it. Recently bending the knees as you roll back up to the top. Roll the shoulders back. And start moving from side to side. Giving the core a little bit of a twisting motion again. As well, now just opening the arms and just hitting yourself against the chest. Making a slight slapping motion. So really loosen up the body, loosen up those muscles. And the crickles and the crackles. Almost like you're making music. Type of song. And slow that motion down. Give it feel like in the wind or in water. Until eventually your hands rest by your side. You're bringing the two toes together, slightly bending, pushing the glutes out back, and coming into chair pose. So core engage, look up. Grounding the left foot, lifting the right foot up to the chest. Deep inhale. So extending the left knee, so your right foot is still in a 90 degree angle lift, lifting a bit higher. And then try grabbing the foot so your balance comes into play, and that's also your core coming into play. So you're holding the foot with your fingers, you're holding the front toe with your fingers, you keep your balance. And you can either stay here or you can try extending the leg in front of you. Again, tightening the core. And you can also be bent. Now release your hands. Your leg is now in front of you, either bent or extended. And you body the chest back a bit to counter the pose. Lift the leg a little higher. A little higher. And release. Shaking out the legs. A bit of a Gentle release there. Nice, hands back to hips. Deep inhale. Bring the hands up, clasping them. You're coming onto your toes this time as you really try to reach upwards. And release back down. Nice. Now we're gonna switch onto the opposite side. So again, coming to a chair pose, toes touching, bending back, pushing the back outwards with the chest is lifted, core is engaged, bending the knees, chair pose. Now planting the right leg, so you lift the left leg up. A little higher, sending the leg. The leg is now, the left leg is bent in 90 degree angle, hovering. And now try grabbing the left toe for the left. Two peace fingers. We're just grabbing your left foot. You can stay here. You can also go into tree pose if you want. Or you can extend the leg in front of you. You can either keep it bent like this, or extend all the way out. So you're trying to think as if there's a string on your head pulling you upwards. If you're breathing, focusing on one point, engaging the core. Release your leg. You can be bent in front of you, or slightly bent, or straight. Lifting a bit higher, engage the core. A little bit higher, and release. And shake off those legs. Take off the pressure off those knees. Doing all that wonderful work. 
Nice. So again, feet together. Roll the shoulders back. Maybe letting your body fall to the left side, getting a bit of a back stretch on back stretch on the right. Squeezing the core, come back to center. And to the opposite side. Center. A deep inhalation. And a deep exhalation, rolling the shoulders back into the tent. Now, turning the right foot, lifting the left foot one more time, and opening up into warrior two. So remember for your warrior two, your two heels are intersecting. Your back heel is lined up in a 90 degree angle, so the back of your mat. And your front knee, so in this case, your right knee is bent. Your hips are facing the side, so I'm facing you guys. And extend the arms, keep your core engaged. Deep inhale, and exhale, bending the forward. Remember, you're looking forward, so looking at your front fingers. And extend slightly. You still keep the bend, but it can be a slight bend. And bend deep into the on the exhale. Make sure you're breathing. The breath is the most important part. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Reaching forward, flipping the front palm, coming back into a peaceful warrior. Now extending the front leg as well. And then using your core, bending the front knee and coming back to center. A deep inhale. And exhale, extending the front knee and coming into just side angle pose. So letting your hand either come to the crawl or all the way down into the floor of 10 fingers. And opening up the chest through the back. First, bending the leg again, keeping it bent and opening, bringing it down to the side, to the right side, and then turning the left knee so you're in a low lunge, shifting up and down, and extending the front knee with a stretch there, and bending. Yes. The back toe is tucked, coming now into a plank. You can either go on knees, chest, chin, or you just plop down, or you can come into chaturanga, so shifting the body forward over the elbows, lowering yourself down, and pushing outwards into an upward facing dog. You can also have the knees planted for this and just push outwards into a low cobra. And then coming back into a downward facing dog, cutting up the legs. And either walking, stepping, or jumping to the front of your mat again. So you're in a forward facing fold. Bending the knees and rolling up. Your chin and your head should be the last thing to come up. Really make sure your elbows are open. Just to open up our elbows a bit more, clasp your hands behind you. And your back, and then pull outwards and just look slightly up just to open up the chest. Deep inhale, deep exhale, release. Now I'm going to repeat that on the opposite side. So this time your left leg is nice and planted. Really plant all of the toes so that all four corners of your feet are engaged and you have a good gripping motion going on. Hands are on the hips. Shifting to the left and really lifting up now the right leg into that sky. And bringing it back in a smooth controlled motion into warrior two on the opposite side. So again, make sure you have the right form. Your hips and your core are really focused on staying to the sides as your arms open up and you look into your front index finger. So inhale, exhale, bend a bit more. Inhale, extend a little bit, and inhale, bend. 
Your glutes should also be helping you eat those. Next time, hold, flipping the front palm, shifting a bit forward with the chest and coming back into a peaceful or reverse warrior. Inhale, the exhale using the core, bring yourself to center, should be slow motion, don't just swing yourself. Extending the front leg, maybe shifting the back leg a bit closer into the body. Reaching forward with the front hand and twisting the body to the side and opening up the chest. And now shifting your left leg a bit more to the left side and your right foot to the right side, planting your hands and coming into a forward low lunge and shifting the body up and down a little bit. Bring back into high plank, taking your vinyasa, chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin, or any other way. Down. Releasing upwards and coming into a downward facing dog. And releasing into a lovely lovely child pose. We're not here for long, we come straight back up. Now bringing the right foot in front of you. So again, you're in a sort of low line with your knee on the foot, your knee on the mat, left knee on the mat. Now, twisting the body to the side, so in this case, I'm moving to the left side. So you're kind of turn position, turning the foot. So it's now angled and your foot is planted. Shifting until the center, so your hands are really in the center, slightly in front of your mat. Now planting left leg so that you're now in a wide facing forward fold. We're reaching a bit down. Pushing again into your fingers, looking slightly in front of you. Shimmy the feet a bit more center, bend your knees as you roll all the way up. Standing. Now, bringing your feet into not all the way into the full wide leg position, but definitely wider than your hips. Bringing your heels to face inwards and your toes to face outwards. And now pushing, because pushing the knees outward to the side. You come coming into play position all the way down so that your elbows. And rest onto your knees. Shift from side to side. Now lift the butt a little bit, grasping, bring your hands to each knee and then pushing each elbow shoulder down. So you give it a bit of a shoulder stretch. And get into the back. Nice. And then release down to the floor, letting your bum. Come down, extending your legs in front of you in a wide V position. Placing your hands down behind you, maybe pushing in, opening up the chest, looking up. Breathing. Left hand stays where it is, lifting the right hand, looking up at your right fingers. Really reaching up and then twisting the body towards the right. Either letting your hand come to your knee, to your calf, or all the way to your foot. Looking to the left. Going back to center, planting the hand behind you. One more time, open up the chest. Inhale, and exhale, lifting up the left hand. Turning the body, so make sure it's a very conscious within the core. To the right, so you're looking at your right foot. And then letting the hands come down, either on your knee, if that's enough for you. A bit more, trying to walk a bit forward. 
forward to fight this, so take off, or all the way to the foot if possible. If you have a towel or, I mean, you can also wrap that when you put the pool you in the close to your body. Center. Now both hands, again, your back straight, your core is engaged to keep your back straight. Your hands on your upper thighs, letting them slowly, slowly crawl up the legs. You bring your chest forward, looking in front of you. Bring up and down a little bit. You can reach for your toes, that's even better. You can also bring your knees either further or closer apart. And just letting your body come forward a little bit. Getting a bit of a stretch in those inner thighs. Inhale, and exhale, come a bit more forward. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, bring the hands to the floor. So now, grasping the floor as well, and pulling the floor a bit closer to you, so you open up your back. And coming back to center. Closing the feet to your feet touch, you're in a butterfly position. Again, if you can be very close to you, or they can be a bit more in the diamond shape in front of you. And holding the knees, and again, better playing out to the legs a little bit. You know, a little bit of a release. Yes, okay. So before we're gonna go a bit into a bit some a more climax core stuff now. Before we then release, so come back, shifting now again. So your legs are facing the front of your mat. Bringing butt a bit forward, letting your body come to the ground. Let your feet stay planted and your knees bent. Now, first, making sure you feel supported and relaxed. Breathing yourself with giving yourself support. Just bring it this time. Incredibly, incredibly important to remember. Now letting the right leg extend. Your left leg stays bent, clasping the hands up, bending them and bringing them behind the head, support your head, maybe using your fingers to give your neck a little bit of a massage. If you have any lovely roommates or family members, try to convince them to give you a massage tonight. And then curling up so the shoulders come off. The mat and you're in a crunch. And now bringing the opposite elbow to opposite knee. Hold. Maybe extend that leg. Bend it. And now bringing the opposite leg, so the right leg back. So both your legs are in table top. And switching. Holding it now. Your left leg is extended. Your right leg is. Bend and touching your left knee. Extend the knee. Bend. And switch. So we're going to go into some yogi bicycles. Really engaging the foot to plant the lower back. The lower back should not be curving off the floor. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, hold it to the left, maybe just shift, now always the elbow to the knee, twisting to the side, three, two, one, switch, and three, two, one, both knees to chest, curling up one more time, and release everything into your starfish pose. Maybe letting the legs behind, legs in front of you extended, and the arms behind as well. As if someone is pulling each part of your body. Inhale. On the exhale, curl everything, giving yourself a big hug. To be a fast motion. Exhale, release. Inhale, 
hug. If you can, maybe lifting up as well, the nose to the knees. Extend. Hug. Extend. Hug. Using the core always as you come into the ball. Extend. And hug. Time, you can let the head rest. Maybe give you a little head roll side to side. Lifting from side to side. Now extending the legs up straight behind you. You can also clasp your fingers for support to keep your knees stable. Now, if it's available to you, you can move into an, a shoulder stand. So for this, planting your elbows onto the floor, engaging the core as well, making sure it's feeling as if you're really pushing your lower back into the floor. Rolling your legs with the back, if this is enough for you, that's fine. You can also clasp your hands and rest your glutes on top of them. If you want to go a step further, maybe just start curling the body. Using the hands on your glutes as your legs are over your head to help roll up. And lift the legs up to the sky. So like you're in a bit of an elbow stand now, holding up the body. You open up the legs from side to side. Really feeling your air thighs bring the legs together. You're doing some swimmers. So you can stay here and keep trying to come into a straight position, engaging your core as you're just lifting the legs. Or you come into a plow pose, so letting the legs fall overhead. You're a bit more advanced and want to get a bit more into the back. If not, stay in that elbow pose. Try now bringing your two feet together. Opening the legs. Bring them down to the chest. Bring your knees together. Your knees are bent and together. Your feet are together. And then very carefully to protect your back, roll down. Using your hands as support. And release as well. One more time, rolling up the legs from side to side. So flipping onto your back, so you're lying, not putting on your tummy. You're lying on your tummy. We're gonna do our last, more challenging pose. So first, just again, letting the head rest. Bringing your chin to the floor. Clasping the hands behind you. And then pulling them backwards to lift the chest up off the floor. And engaging the core to bring yourself more up, looking slightly in front of you. And then inhale. On the exhale, try to lift a bit more. Breathe, tensing the glutes. And exhale, come back down. Next time we lift, maybe try to lift your legs as well. So you're really engaging that core. So inhale. And exhale, lift everything, pulling back and pulling the legs upwards. You can also bend the legs as well and try to push them upwards. You can also grasp them and come into a proper back bend. And release. Again, shifting the legs side to side. So you can do any of those variations. Or if you want to really go step up, you can bring out your hands in front of you. You're lying, your legs as well. And lift up, lifting your front arms up as well. So in your superman position, you want to bend your hands into this, as if you're really flying. And shifting from side to side into swimmers, so letting well, the right hand come down, the left hand goes down, and just switching. Bending the arms into the chest. One more time, reach up, reach up, reach up. And release. And breathe. That killed me as well. Okay. Pushing in, in your hands alongside underneath your shoulders. Pushing outwards. Now release this. That lower back and get a bit of a stretch. Maybe shifting, looking at your left foot. Shifting, looking at your right foot. 
bringing your legs a bit closer as well together if you really want to get a bit more into this pose. And shifting all the way around so you're on your bum. Bring onto your elbows. So your chest is still lifted up and your back is up. Your hands are grounded. Windshield wiping legs from side to side. Getting a bit of a release. Extending the legs, either staying here or you can come onto your hands as well. And join me in a reverse plank. So really bringing up the core and the glute, planting the glutes, bringing your hips up to the sky. Bring back down. You're sitting on your bum. One more time, deep inhale. With strings pulling up your head and your core. Hands extended in front of you, slightly being forward, and then rounding your back so you're lying on the floor. Hands extended alongside of you. Be again, kind of rolling the ankles, rolling the wrists. And a deep inhale, and exhale. Yeah, there's some breath work. So an inhale on a count of five, hold for five, and then exhale on a count of five. So inhale one, two, three, four, five, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, hold. Four, five, four, three, two, one. And exhale for five, four, three, two, one. There's two more times at your own pace. And just letting the breath go in and out naturally. And bring your hand alongside of you for the shavasana. You can also let your legs maybe rest in the butterfly pose with knees bent and heels together and letting them fall to the side. And also bend the elbows and bring them behind your head. Whatever is comfortable for you right now, whatever you need. You can also just entirely ignore me and do your own things. Whatever the body moves. Let's lie here now for a little bit. Focus on a positive thought today. Maybe a new thing you learned today, or a little goal that you have after this practice. You're in Europe and you're thinking about dinner, maybe what you're excited about making, or you're in the time zone here, maybe about lunch. You've got a cool TV series you're gonna watch. Is there anything that you're excited about after? Eventually letting the thoughts of the past and the future ride away and just focus on your body right now and what hurts and what feels good. And what you notice about yourself, did you become more flexible? Or were you extra sore? This is stuff that you couldn't do. Thinking about what you'd like to work on or what you don't really care about working on at all. Focusing now on your breath. In the air, enter your lungs, your belly. And I'm letting it out. And just breathing on you.
Loading, start picking in the new forms. Start your own fingers. You're in a butterfly position, you need sending the legs again. Setting everything to the stick a little bit. Maybe moving the head from side to side, moving the back of your head a bit of a massage. Back to stillness, one deep inhale and exhale. Letting your consciousness come back to your body. Bending the legs. Again, start letting your knees fall and rock from side to side. Letting the left legs fall off to the left side. No, letting both legs fall off to the left side. Lifting your right hand in front of you, grounding into the floor. You're in a few supported pillow position. Your head resting on your left arm. And using your right arm to push yourself up. And crawling for the left hand as well until you're in a seated position at facing the front of your mat. If you need to be shifted, you can either extend, stay in a classical seated position, or you can come into a lotus pose, bringing one leg over the other, a bit more of a twist that also shifts the body forward. It gives you a little extra bit of a stretch, and just makes you look super cool. Yeah. Feel like you're in kung fu panda or something. Pulling the shoulders back, pulling the chest, shifting to the left. Lifting to the right on the exhale. Lifting forward on the inhale. Backward on the exhale. Switching this rotation so you're moving backward on the inhale, now forward on the exhale. Coming to center. Again, rolling the shoulders back, looking at the chest, looking up. And your core tense. Deep inhalation, the hands together, reaching up to the sky as your hands clasp. Keep reaching. And exhale, bring them down to the chest, bowing your head. And namaste. <laughs> right, thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed the class. Um, again, feedback is welcome. Um, I want to request for this class was done especially by Wes and Alexia. We wanted to do a mixture of flexibility and strength and core focus. So if anyone else also has any focuses, um, I think I'm going to do the next class on Saturday, maybe Friday, maybe Sunday, but most likely Saturday. And that might be a bit more of a comic class, but again, any requests are welcome. Let me know if you like the music as well, or if you're using any other music, because I want to try and create a really cool playlist. And yeah, I hope you all guys have a wonderful day and um, or night or evening. Um, or for the evening people, everyone's focused on dinner. And yes, yeah. let me drop the camera down. Bye guys.